Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. More season of giving players in NBA 2K21, my team. And I'm very, very excited to go over each and every one of these players. We got Ruby Davis, Bertans, J Amethyst, John Collins, Diamond, James Harden, and Pink Diamond, Bob Pettit. So, four players. And honestly, we've been waiting for this Bob Pettit for a while. I thought, honestly, he'd be the token reward. Maybe the Galaxy Open token reward that we would see next season but i don't know i'm very very excited to see bob pettit now if he's working with that base 11 or lamarcus aldridge type release it's not gonna work but i could see 2k giving him base 98 but before we go any further if you are new to my channel and have not yet please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 40 000, 40 000 subscribers the recent support has been crazy and i can't thank you guys enough so as you guys can see here with ruby davis bertans you know what he's going to give you guys we know what he does in the nba we know what he's going to do in 2k going to be a lights out shooter 610 610 wingspan hot spots from everywhere behind the arc which on current gen is a pretty big deal like the hot spots are huge 95 three ball and then that's really all he's going to do you look at the speed 78 77 lateral quickness every single one of his shooting badges is in the shooting department or every one of his badges are shooting so you know he's got 14 total badges is is dead eye is only bronze but all of them are in the shooting department so as far as just a pure shooter at as far as ruby he's going to be the best shooting ruby in the game that is what davis Breton is going to give you it's what he gives you in real life and even on the defense man he's not terrible the reason I say that 78 speed, 77 lateral quickness. If you give him some defensive badges, he's gonna be able to hold it down. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that that Bertans is going to be a top card in the game, but he is going to be absolutely knocked down. That is what I'm going to tell you. Tendencies 85 driving dunk tendency, defensive tendencies aren't very good. Six wise jump shot 13. Let's see. Larry Johnson. Danny Green's type release, which is absolutely knocked down on normal timing. You should be able to green that very, very consistently. I love his hot spots, especially, you know, he's got those hot spots and he has hot zone hunters. So that kind of works together. Very, very good shooting badges all the way around. He does indeed have steady shooter on next gen is blinders. So I think he's going to be a usable ruby in the game. Next, we get an amethyst John Collins. Now, you guys know how I like Sean Kemp and I haven't even looked at John Collins stats yet. But I think I'm going to love the card. 6'9", 6'11", wingspan, hot spots from four to five places around the arc. 87 three ball with Hall of Fame Showtime. Why does 2K do this? Why does 2K do this? They give a player Showtime and then they don't give them Showtime dunks. Imagine, that's like that's like giving somebody range extender with a 25 three ball. What are you doing, 2K? Can we give my guys with Hall of Fame Showtime, Showtime dunks? I'm tired of you guys doing this. The only time he's going to activate Showtime is when he gets and ones now. And it's just not really worth it playing a guy if he can't get Showtime dunks. So that really kind of takes away what he can do. Nonetheless, 87 three ball, 95 driving dunk. Terrible on the defensive end. 71 speed, 57 lateral quickness. And I know I compared him a little bit to Sean Kemp before this. But he just doesn't compare to Sean Kemp at all. You can't really play John Collins in a competitive type setting because of how bad he is on the defensive end. I would say on the offensive end, he would be the, one of the top centers in the game. And he still is going to be okay. But no range extender. The lack of actual showtime dunks definitely hurts. Tendency-wise, 95 driving dunk tendency obviously is good. Defensive tendencies aren't good. Sigs-wise, Kobe's release. I'm telling you, if they gave him Hall of Fame showtime, I would say that he's a usable center in the game. But without it... It's tough. He's only 6'9". He can't really play any sort of defense. And that's tough to get by with. And the, the, the way the game currently is, it's just tough. It's tough to find a way to get John Collins on the court. It really, truly is. This card today is Diamond James Harden. 6'5", 6'10", wingspan. Two Hall of Fame badges, 34 on gold. Four on silver, two on bronze. Hot spots from four out of five place around the arcs. Six foot five, six to ten weeks. And 87 three ball, 84 driving dunk, 88 speed ball, 90 ball handle, 89 speed, and a 79 lateral quickness. Obviously, he's pretty, I'm not going to compare him to his pink diamond, but they're going to give you basically the same things. He has Hall of Fame Tyler shooter, volume shooter, gold range, no steady shooter. You love to see that playmaker wise. He's okay you know he's good in the playmaking department but i said i, I was so hesitant because I was, I was looking at the playmaking badges but my eyes saw the defensive badges and the lack of upgrading anything you can't upgrade any of these defensive badges but with all that being said james harden on the offensive end is going to be elite 
He is. There's no way around it. With these playmaking badges, he is going to be elite. It's just on the defense, man. He's just not even going to be able to hold it down. And he doesn't even have the point guard secondary position, which hurts him as well. I get he's got an 85 driving dunk tendency. His defensive tendencies aren't terrible. Has a James Harden release. But he's got pro one size ups. Pro three behind the back, obviously, is incredible. I think he's going to be a lot more usable on next gen than current gen. And next gen, I feel like the beard is going to be usable. Current gen wise, Still a little hesitant because it's just so tough to play a guy like Harden without any sort of defense and have any sort of success unless you can really rotate like the top defensive players in the game. I definitely don't suggest you guys picking up James Harden for anything. I mean, there's just, I, the matter of fact, there's rubies better in the game than James Harden. So I would never suggest him to anybody. And last card here. The only card that I thought might be worth something is Pink Diamond Bob Pettit. And at this point, I've already seen enough. I don't think he's going to be worth much. Now, it can all change if he has Hall of Fame range, which he does. Okay. Okay. You know, maybe. Okay. Let's look at his SIG and release. Set shot 14. Tubby Walker. Okay. That's a good release. I like that release. Okay. We might have something with Bob Pettit, but here's the thing. He's 6'9", 7 foot wingspan. He only has 21 total badges. And that's why, that's the first hesitation I had is because... If you only have 21 total badges, it's just tough in 2K. If you only have 21 total badges, when guys you're playing against are going to have 40, 50 badges. And so I get Bob, Bob Pettit has hot spots from everywhere, which is key. Has a 93 three ball, 75 standing dunk, can't really handle the ball, but it's not terrible. 80 speed, 49 lateral. He has a 49 lat. He has a 49 lateral quickness. A 49. Okay, let's look at the defensive badges in which it's gold brick wall and moving truck. I'm not going to sit here and lie. He's missing a lot. Okay, he is. I get he's got Hall of Fame catch and shoot corner specialist, pick and popper, pump big maestro, and range extender. He does have steady shooter next gen that turns to blinders. It's just, here's the thing. He kind of reminds me of a better version, a more usable version of Dirk. Uh, I think on the offensive end, you're going to have a lot of success with the card. The problem here is he's got 10 Hall of Fame badges. Out of those 10, back down Punisher, drop stepper, put back boss, dream shake, and post spin technician. Throw them out the window. Because those badges truly don't matter. Like, I don't ever use those badges. Okay, he also has deep fades. So that's another badge that just doesn't matter. So that's what? Six out of his 20. That's literally over one third of his badges. Or, or about, you know, one fourth of his badges that just don't matter. So that's the thing. It's just, if, if you're playing Bob Pettit... His badges are just awful. He doesn't even come with Hot Zone Hunter, Flexible, Green Machine, or Hot Start. So if you want to apply those shooting badges, then what is he going to give you on the defensive end? I mean, it's just, it's, this card's an absolute disaster. Can you have some success with this? Some success with Bob Pettit? Yes, you can. But would I ever run this card? Probably not. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. I would probably never run this card. And honestly, looking at all of these players, let's let's see, six wise, uh, 85 driving dug, decent defensive tendencies normal dribble six set shot 14 on normal timing we'll just see how he is but honestly out of all these cards these cards are bad like this content drop is very very bad i wasn't i, I, I can't say i was expecting a ton today but usually at least the diamond choosable you know we get like an eddie jones or something james harden's awful bob pettit's awful for a pink diamond and john collins is quite frankly awful if you open packs today I don't know what to tell you because these cards are absolutely terrible. Bertans is probably the most usable out of everybody for his specific value. And I don't know what to say. For my thumbnail, for example, I have no idea who I'm going to put a thumb up on. Probably Bertans, but I really, truly have no idea. Because all of these cards really are just bad. Just straight up, these cards are bad. Definitely, for you guys, not worth opening packs or worth picking up any of these guys. But at the end of the day, they will grind for some XP. So if you need to win away, they can help in that. But comment down below, guys. Which of these guys are you guys most excited about? Because I know for me personally, I'm excited about none of them. And that's kind of bad to say, but it's just the hard truth. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.